Hey guys, what is up? My name is Eric, also known as Aviator, coming back at you live from my home here in Central Florida. Today is Thursday and I'm bringing you a gameplay video. Yesterday I actually brought you guys two different videos. If you haven't seen them yet, you really should. Uh, one is a hardcore home improvement video, which is a series where my fa myself and my family are going through my home. Uh, we have a garage behind our house and we're basically rebuilding the whole thing and trying to make it a really cool little cottage. Uh, number two, it was a live Modern Warfare 3 free-for-all commentary, which was full of shenanigans. So check those two out. They're uh, right there. Go check them out. But today, I'm actually bringing you guys a quick little blast from the past. This is a Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, and it's not mine. This is actually uh, from FaZe Temper's channel. If you guys don't know who FaZe Temper is, he is the leader of the FaZe Clan. Great sniper, really clever guy, uh, and just really a giving spirit, too. I met him at uh, MLG Providence and really genuinely liked him. So, uh, you know, I, I figured, what the heck, we'd do some work together, and we have. So this video went up on his channel quite a while ago. Uh, this is the first of a series of two. If you guys want to see the other one, there'll be a link in the description and at the end of this video where you can go check out the, the other video, which is a Modern Warfare 3 commentary. And this is some of my shoutcasting. Now, I have to say, shoutcasting by yourself is very difficult. It's not as easy to do as casting with someone else. And I don't actually watch the gameplay before I cast it. So it's the first time I've seen it as if I'm seeing it live. I try to go through as quickly and as fast paced as possible to kind of, you know, keep things moving. But uh, again, this is a Modern Warfare 2 live shoutcasted gameplay from uh, Quarry. And uh, big thanks to FaZe Temper or Tommy for sharing it. I hope you guys will go check out his channel as well. He has a lot more subscribers than I do, but he is uh, well worth watching. And he's got some really great temper talks and that kind of thing on there that I think you guys will dig. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch the intro, and I'll talk to you all soon. See you later. Bye-bye. What is up, guys? My name is Eric, also known as Aviator, coming at you live for Phase Temper. We've been doing some shoutcasting over some of his old Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. You guys are about to see him play some free for all here on Quarry. Now, fair warning, I've not played Modern Warfare 2 in quite a while, nor have I done any callouts for it, so I'm going to be working from old, old memories here, hoping to keep up. But as you guys know, Phase Temper does get recognized from time to time in lobbies, so there are a few snipers, but. He's having some fun, and he absolutely rocks this out. I've not seen the full gameplay yet, but I know his style, and it can't help but be good. Looks like he is going to rock out the Intervention FMJ at 8 sensitivity. He's spawning down by Big Red. Going to climb up, shoot most likely. Knowing his play style, that's where he's headed. He goes left. Yep, up to Big Shoot right here. Going to climb the shoot all the way up to Barrels. We'll see what he's able to do from there. As you can see, 9 minutes, 53 seconds left on the board coming through Barrels. He's got the Intervention now. He sees a man on the red dot. There he is. Long, hard scope. Very careful, very strong. One. Two lines up for him very nicely. Quick clean kills from Temper. Now, as you guys know, Temper's way of life is that quick scoping is cool and quick scoping is great, but only do so out of necessity. And that's one of those things that you can all learn as snipers that remembering that quick scoping, while it's a lot of fun to do and while it is a very impressive skill to have, whoa, look at this jump to throwing knife to knife. That was crazy. That was sick. And that was awesome. Well done, Tommy. Going back across shoot. He's going to come over here and let's see if he pulls out the Harrier or if he holds off. He's going to hold on to the Harrier. Two bullets left in his clip, working his way across barrels, just watching these spawns. Obviously, Obviously, this is one of the strongest places on the map for free for all with three spawns in front, three spawns behind. Very, very easy place to clean kills up as he's working over here by top rocks, waiting for the man, waiting for the man. Goes for the quick drag scope, cleans him up, and gets taken out. His first death of the game with already 12 kills on the board. Now he spawns once again by small red. He's working his way past big red, throws that long range throwing knife, and no kill from that one, but he's going back up through the shoot. Takes that concussion over the top and is taken out from behind. Sad spawns point there, no doubt, but he is right here he's dropping those harriers over there by big blue and he's going to go ahead and cruise this thing out hold off and wait to see what happens next as we see right here he's climbing up through the cutoff he's going toward big green or big brown i don't remember the call out sorry it's okay though one very nice shot but missed the kill however followed up by a second shot and a third shot right there in pillars now working his way over here by tank bam one Two. Nice no scope right there from Tommy. Tommy now working his way, watching the player come through there. Just remembering that people in this game are incredibly predictable. The routes you have to run, that's one of the great things about Modern Warfare 2 maps, is that the, the routes have to be predictable because there's only so many ways to go. This map is one of my favorite for verticality and for the routes, and uh, Tommy's really doing a great job of working those things out right now. So, sadly, gets a stun on a player. However, is not able to take the player out. Somebody else gets him first, but he is able to get a quick 180 to a kill and a quick another 180. Bam! 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 Very nice work, Tommy. One of the most impressive things about a quality sniper in a gameplay like this is a look at their confidence level, where they take that single shot and turn away with the expectation that they have the shot. It's something that I've watched a lot of snipers do over the years, and it's not that often you'll find a sniper who's willing to have complete and supreme confidence in their shot and is willing to turn away after every one. Tommy? 
has that in spades. All right, working his way backside over toward elbow, back across now toward Dozer. He's watching this blue and brown sides right here. Gets a very nice shot in blue. He's gonna line up right here for one more in brown. Does get, the sh does get the kill, and now at 13.50, just three kills left with a Harrier in his pocket. I know Tommy most likely is not going to call this thing in. He's going to climb through top rocks right now, working his way backside over toward the forklift building. Going to take shots. One hit marker, one kill right here on blue, and one more right there on brown. It is now final kill cam time, my friends, and he is rocking this thing out, going for that beautiful YY fade shot, and he's going to go ahead and fail it out there. However, Tommy's back on board now. He's working his way back across through the silos. We'll see if he's able to get this guy off the silos or where he is there goes the guy across silos and they climb across yep he's going across rocks it looks like right here we'll see if he'll get one of these sick kill cams he's so well known for or if this game is going to continue on for a little bit longer as we see he is lined up one hit marker two hit nope just one hit marker and a death sadly gets taken out that's cheap man that's one of those things i hate nothing worse than getting a hit marker with a sniper rifle always makes you feel bad especially when it's above the waist tommy sadly gets taken out once again lined up on from long range but he does see a guy in pillars rocking his red gun. So he's going to take him out right there with a very clean, clean shot. Tommy finishing up 30 and 7. Well played. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and leave a comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these on Tommy's channel. If you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to leave me a comment on my channel. And uh, let me know how horrible I am. I'm happy to hear from you. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.